Hey everybody, uh, now that we have page titles for all our pages that correspond to our keyword strategy, we're going to go ahead and add text to each page to make sure that we are adding weight to that page so that when the search engine see the page title, they're seeing that there's good content on that page to back up um, that page title. So when you're looking at something like the um, Arizona Wedding Photographer page that we created, um, this is a great way instead of having like an about me to have a keyword that titles the page and then you would come into the settings tab and you would go ahead and put your bio in here and so um, that bio should have some good rich keywords in there it should be written as if the reader is going to read it you want to make sure you're not just keyword stuffing so go ahead and make sure you're writing really good content and the keywords that are in that content are backing up the page title that you've titled that page. So you're going to notice that on the majority of our pages we have areas for description and the reason we did this was for search engine optimization. So a lot of times people um, that are setting up their sites because you guys are photographers you have a lot of albums and you don't take the time to actually add a description to your album. Well every little bit of text is going to help. So you'll even notice that if you go to our album pages that we have an area for uh, description. So you can come in here and you can talk about maybe where you did the photo shoot, maybe you talk about the clients, maybe you talk about uh, some of the things about those photos. But it gives you an opportunity to write something that, that readers are going to want to read and also write something that's going to allow you to naturally get some good keywords in there. So you're going to want to make sure that you're putting your keywords in those paragraphs and you're taking every opportunity. Um, a really good strategy is to use something like our info list page. Our info list page is um, looks, a, looks a little something like this and it looks different on every template but it's a page where you actually get to come in and put questions and answers so it's great for like uh, frequently asked questions uh, some people use it for their pricing some people use it to sit, to have pages like um, what to how to prepare for uh, a certain type of shoot and you can go in there and talk about um, you know how to dress for it and so on but this is a great way to get a bunch of different content into um, into these pages so if you go to the info list page and you're setting this up it's basically a, a question and answer type scenario so you click new you type a a question or a title for what they're about to read you can add an image and then you add your great content in here and you and you hit create and then um, this will build out on that page but this is one of those pages that can just be so rich with content you have your info pages that could be great for like a bio um, but normally it's you know only going to be so long of a bio where this gives you the opportunity to write so many different um, paragraphs that can get so many different types of keywords in there. So um, if you think about frequently asked questions, it's um, do you travel? And so you can talk about the cities that you travel to to do photography and you know great way to get the cities in there. Um, what type of photography do you do? And it's a great w way to get the different types of photography keywords in there that you do. So um, think about your keywords. Think about how you want to get them in there. Definitely use an info list page and make sure that you're um, adding plenty of good content in those little paragraphs. <clears throat> Another page that a lot of people overlook is the splash page. So uh, when you're going to the splash page, you're either going to have a box that says description um, or you're going to have a box that says SEO blurb. Either way, you want to make sure that you get a nice little opening paragraph if you are using a splash page. It's really easy that when you have like the home page that somebody lands on in one of our HTML5 sites or um, or if you're not using a splash page to uh, to overlook. The home page is really easy to get content in. Any other page sometimes as a home page, whether it's a splash page or something else, a lot of times gets overlooked. So you want to make sure that you get that good content in there as well. So you want to go through all the pages that you set up and make sure if there is a description box that you get it in there. Um, and anytime you're adding text to your site, you want to make sure that whether it's titles, whether it's links, whether it's paragraphs of content, you want to make sure that the keywords are in there and that you're filling it out completely. So try and go through your site and be really diligent about it and, and write good copy. Um, again, always remember not to just add keywords for the sake of adding keywords. Search engines are smarter than that. So write copy as if your users are going to read it. And it actually becomes a nicer experience for the user as well to see copy that is informative instead of just a bunch of keywords. So uh, again, take your time, go through the site, go through each page and add your content.